Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to prove Pythagorean theorem with a um, geometric approach to the proof. Um, yeah, alright, so let's get started. The approach here is to try to prove that this area here, let's call this area A, will fit this area is the same area as that, right? That's the approach to, to the proof. Okay. So to prove this, we first have to um, accept this other theorem. A triangle that shares um, a base with any quadrilateral and has the same height as a quadrilateral, the area of the triangle will, will be equal to one half the area of the quadrilateral, right? We could also draw this as such, and it holds true because it has the same height and it shares the same base. Okay, with that in mind, we can now do our proof. This is going to get very um, messy. I hope you can follow along. Okay, so the way that we're going to prove this is by drawing in strategic triangles. In the first triangle I'm going to draw is this one here. Okay, second triangle I will draw is this one here. Alright, so triangle green and triangle black. Okay, now if you remember from geometry, to prove that two triangles, okay, well, here let me establish this. This green triangle shares this side with, um, this was square A, right? So this is A. So this side here is A. And it shares this side and this height. Right? So because of our, um, our proof, our um, theorem that we established here, we can conclude that this triangle has half the area of A. Of a. Okay, so what we're trying to do here is to prove that this triangle green ha is congruent, which means it has the same area as triangle black. And if you notice, triangle black shares this side with this quadrilateral, right? This quadrilateral here shares this side with the triangle, and it shares the same height. There. It shares the same height. So, if we can prove that these tri two triangles are congruent, then we can there for um, assume that triangle um, that um, the area of A will fit here. Okay. So the approach to this is, if you remember from geometry. Side angle side. This side from triangle green is shared with this side from triangle black. You see? Because both of these are on um, square A, right? Um, this is, this is um, square C, okay? Square C. Um, triangle green shares square C side and triangle black shares this square C side. So we have two, two sides. All we have to prove now is that this angle here is the same as this angle here. Alright, 
That's where it gets a little messy. This angle here for this for this um, square is 90 degrees because we drew it that way. And this angle here is 90 degrees for that, for this square. And isn't the angle of this whole side, let's, let's name this, this angle here, X. Isn't the angle of this whole um, triangle 90 degrees plus X degrees? And isn't this angle for triangle green 90 degrees plus the same X degrees? We don't know the X degree, but because um, they are both 90 plus X, or the X's are the same, we can conclude that these two are equal to each other. Therefore, we can conclude that the two triangles are congruent, have the same area, and we can conclude that A has the same area of, let's just call this quadrilateral, um, D. Area of A is equal to area of D. And the same can be done for area of B, for area, let's call this E. Right? I'm not going to do that, but you could do that. Um, your, tri your triangles would be here. That would be that triangle. And this triangle would be here. If you see that. And real quick, we could do that. We could do this side is equal to this side. This side is equal to um, 